So good afternoon, uh, both of you. To both of you in today's training, what we're gonna uh, what we're gonna go through is that uh, I will train you guys how to create a quiz uh, or homework. It's, we, let's call it homework. How to create a homework for a student, right? So we create a homework for a student, and then we will see how student can upload, uh, how student can 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 do their homework, and teachers can can mark them on on their side, right? So this is one of the crucial part at the moment we need to we need to go through the training so uh without further ado uh, let me share my screen quickly so we can uh, we can uh, work on this one okay uh I, I hope you guys can see my screen right yes i can see your screen okay uh may i confirm both of you are uh, well familiarized with the microsoft teams yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, great. So, uh, what we will do now is that uh, for to create an assignment, right? Uh, I mean, to create a homework, you need to go under assignment section. All the classrooms have this particular assignment section under the class main menu, right? So, uh, there are two methods of creating homework. Uh, one of them, it depends on the homework itself. It, let's suppose if the homework is about objective questions, right? Such as like MCQs type of questions. Uh, this is first method uh, there are two different ways and the second method is where the homework is related to some sort of essay then students needs to the student they need to write an essay and they need to submit to the teachers that's the second form or category of assignment so we'll go through both of these categories and then we will see uh, you will get familiarized with both of them so first thing first whenever you want to do so uh, create an assignment create an homework you will need to go into that particular classroom and then go to this particular assignment section right uh, okay the next uh, once you are in the assignment section we you will you will see this particular button called create once you click on this create button let's create first the objective kind of uh, homework right objective kind of homeworks like mcqs fill in the blanks multiple choice questions and so on so we'll create on we'll click on this quiz yep so once you click on this quiz you will see uh, this particular form screen will pop up what is this form screen is actually the form screen is a microsoft teams forms so this is the Teams form, Microsoft Forms, right? Microsoft Forms is similar as Google Forms actually. So at this stage, on these are the forms that I have earlier or previously created, right? First, whenever you create a form first time, it will it will be there for for like as long as you don't delete it again. So that means if there are some sort of objective kind, subjective or objective kind of questions. You will need to create that particular form once it's always there then you can just simply click on that form and then you can give an homework to the student but but for your case for your case when you click on this quiz this will be empty yeah this will be empty because uh, you haven't created any form each form belongs to that particular owner so let's let's say if i've created these forms these forms will always appear for me but not for you guys but you need to create it first how do we create it first let's say you open click on quiz this this is blank for for you guys so all you need to do is click on new form when you will click on new form what's going to happen is that it will open microsoft forms website because you cannot create the forms on the application you will need to access microsoft forms website so once you on this page automatically all you need to do is click on sign in sign in is actually your same id that you have used for your uh, to log into your microsoft teams so let me quickly log in okay you will notice on microsoft forms uh, i have these particular forms are appearing remember this is the same list of forms that when i clicked on quiz these forms were appearing there right so you can always go ahead and edit these forms if in case you have changed the questions for the students or you want to update the one specific or particular form and so on so let's say now you want to create some sort of fill in the blanks or multiple choice questions right so all you need to do is just click on new quiz over here so the first thing you will see on the quiz uh, is that the title for that particular homework let's say in our case scenario uh, it's a homework right so we'll name it movers 
let's say this is the title for this particular classroom, right? This is the, not, let's say it's not a week one, let's just name it Movers Homework. Next, you, we can add a description. Description is basically an optional thing. A description could be a different, uh, de description depends on the teacher, right? What sort of description we want to put in. This information is like, uh, we can say, dear students, kindly refer to uh, this particular homework and, and read through the questions thoroughly. This homework continues. Uh, this homework carries maybe 100% or maybe 20% of your of, of your this term and then we can add in that uh, you will have 30 minutes to complete this particular homework or maybe one hour I'm just saying these are this could be the description these are the different forms of the description so next we will click on uh, add new this is where what we will do is we will create questions like fill in the blank cell multiple choice kind of questions so let's say let's create a multiple choice sort of question so uh, let me give you an example so for example we say i right so we can add an options for this particular question and then you can add more options it depends how many options we want to add in now the question is does this question does does this specific one particular question carries any mark if it carries any mark then we can add mark let's say we have total of 10 questions in our form and then we will add maybe we have total of 10 questions in the in the homework and each question carries 10 marks and then it means that we have total of 20 i mean total of 100 marks right so we add 10 marks for this particular 10 points for this specific question now the question is does this uh, this question is required you will make sure that this question is required to answer to for the students that means students cannot skip so system will prompt them when they try to submit for example their their uh, homework without answering let's say they might have forgotten to answer one specific question out of 10 right so you make sure all of them are required in that case system will prompt them that this particular question is not answered next the multiple answers is such as you have more than one answer then you enable this one if you if it's just one answer then leave it disabled so this is how we create one uh, one specific question in, in the microsoft forms and then if the question is something related to it you can always go ahead and duplicate it copy it from here and the question has been copied and then you can add in and so on you can always add images like insert media right if you click on insert media you can click on images now the best part of this one is that you can directly get the images from your onedrive you can upload the images from your computer or the other way is you can search it right so let's say as i mentioned it depends on your question uh, you can search the images related to your question. It is not necessary to add images But it's just I'm adding I'm, I'm showing the possibilities that we can add images as well next part that we will move on is the uh, Is adding an essay kind of question, right? So uh, this one is done. Let's add another question now So if you click at add new question adding uh, an essay kind of question, right? Uh, this is uh, not an essay exactly uh, this is like some some sort of questions that you want to create for the students if they have a short answer for that particular question so uh, this is text based so let's click on the text based question so uh, this one is uh, for example your question answer requires a small explanation from the student right so you want to ask from the students how many states do we have in malaysia right the students need to provide a short answer for for that particular uh question so this is uh, this is some sort of questions that you can create depends if there is a, some kind if there is a question that requires a short explanation a short answer from the students then you probably need to create a uh, you, you probably need to create a question that that's in, that's a text based question yeah not multiple choice question is a text based question if there's a question that requires students to upload a file then we can click on uh, file upload uh, file upload button i mean the, the question we create this kind of file at the question so uh, depends depends on on uh, if you can read this a new folder will be created in your onedrive 
Files uploaded by respondents will be captured in this folder. Note that responder names and the file details will automatically be recorded in OneDrive. So this is what is uh, what is the small description about the question. Uh, the third third type of question this is mentioning here. So if you click OK, so uh, so the question depends depends on the question that requires uh, that requires the student to upload a file for this particular uh, question. So if, if you have given the student a small mini homework that you want the student to upload the file for this question here, I'm not sure it could be anything. So then the students can simply on their side, they will see this button as an upload file. They will click on it and they can select this, the they can select that particular uh, file and then they can upload it. And from from the teacher side, teachers can download and so on. The file depends what what kind of permission you provide to the student for the size right so it can be 10 MB it can be 100 or it can be 1 giga up to 1 GB uh, that's a huge file size so uh, this this is basically uh, we created three different kind of questions over here so each question carries 10 marks you can see over here this is the title of this homework we can always go ahead and change it and next we can once they have submitted their responses we can always check the responses their answers over here next we can we can always go ahead add some images in this form make it look little bit little bit more uh, appealing right so let's say uh, if this is something uh, this homework relates to some sort of computer uh, computer or technology we can always go ahead and add add custom themes but let me add a, uh, this theme over here so you will notice that uh, now it looks much better right rather than a blank white uh, uh, backspace now it looks much better for the students it looks more interactive actually for them to to answer and so on this is the preview but a preview that how will it look for for the students this is how it will look for the students on their side so they will see this question questions are required with this sign questions are required means they have to answer it they can click on this if they, they cannot read properly they have a vision issue they can read this it will be automatically translated for them and then uh, this is remember I was saying they can upload a file so this is they will upload a file once done they can submit and once they have submitted we can see where they have submitted and so on this is how it will look on computer and this is how it will look on a mobile phone so it's a clear we can see how it looks on computer and mobile and uh, there are a few settings of this one let's say these three dots we can see if you click on these three dots and click on settings these are the settings that we can play around for for this particular uh, form right so uh, anyone with the link can respond if you if you if you want someone uh, uh, I mean we probably don't select this one we want only people in our organization can respond right so we leave it as it is uh, only those people in our organization uh, we leave it for them to respond this particular or unless you open it for everyone then you just select this option then at this stage uh, if, if you have if you are starting uh, right immediately you import this one and you are start starting you want to collect responses then we choose this particular option but let's say you have a specific date right for for you to collect that particular uh, let the student to answer your homework right then we can st click on this start date and then we can set when the system will allow them to uh, allow them to start collecting their answers so we can always go ahead and set a date for them to uh, to, to answer the questions and, and a time as well and if there is an end date for this let's say it's not for uh, for, for forever for them to take and do so we can set let's say it's for one day right so it start that particular day and end in the following day we can add the end date as well next is the uh, uh, shuffle questions i think probably you wanna shuffle the question uh, this is one of the options yes you you can leave it as shuffle questions uh, then there's a thank you message uh, you can you can create a thank you message th dear students thank you very much submitting your homework and so on uh, but by default it's, it's, it says your response was submitted when when they click on submit and uh, these are some sort of notifications you can uh, click to enable and that, that's it for the form settings and so on uh, now this form is ready 
and, and uh, it's ready to import uh, for the students to, to for as a as a homework for them right let's see how we can import this particular form into our uh, uh, for the students as a homework now let's let's suppose you have created it you have finalized it and now you want to uh, send it to the students so now let's say you want to send this one to student we will switch back to the Microsoft Teams application right uh, once we switch back to the Microsoft Teams application we will go to the assignment section again now this time we know we have created the quiz we have created the homework name movers homework right so we will again click on create we will click on the quiz so now this time we should be able to see this particular movers homework you will see is right on the top the, the latest ones are always on, on top over here so uh, this time so next time whenever you want to now you have created it once and next time whenever you want to add it, this particular homework to movers or any classroom you just simply click on the create and then quiz and then just click on this and next so this is how we this now next next step is that we need to add further information about this particular homework right so again by default it will pick the title of that particular form that we have imported so uh, let's say this form name was uh, movers homework it already automatically picked it we can always go ahead and change it instruction is uh, instructions of this particular homework you can add in and this one carries uh, 30 marks <clears throat> right 30 points uh, each the, there were three questions so each question is carrying 10 10 points so there are 30 points overall uh, we are assigning it to this particular classroom by default is this one yes and then it says all students by default it selects all students let's say if the homework is for a specific student then we will we'll click on the list of this we'll click on this student and then it will automatically uh, bring up the list of students that are in this particular classroom right so if i select that student then it says one student is selected that means if i if i have to assign it it will automatically it will only assign it to this particular student not to all students so now let's leave it on all students and then this is the important part where we'll set up a due date for this particular uh, homework so the due date is that we can click on this and then let's say this assignment let me edit it first if you click on this edit you can post it for let's say you don't want to give this particular homework you're creating it in in an advanced stage right uh, for future so let's say you want the students to see it next week so if you want them to see it next week then you probably need to uh, you probably need to uh, assign a uh, assign a future date for them when they want they, they're supposed to see it let's say this homework is available will be should be available for students by next week tuesday so we'll select the date for next week tuesday uh, ignore this error now and and the, what is the post time means this time uh, they will see the this particular homework on there under their assignment section all all the students under this class will receive a notification this particular date on this particular time for this particular homework the due date for it so due date cannot be definitely less than this so it's, it's, it has to be let's say for one day after one day it will due so we make it 17 uh, 17 is the due date and then uh, this time at night uh, let's say 23 59 is the, the, the time for this particular date and closing date is actually your def fully closing this particular homework is done for that particular classroom and so on so we don't we don't touch this one but definitely if you are assigning it for future then you just simply uh, posting date this microsoft teams gives us a flexibility to to set a post date so uh, i hope the post date is clear once done just click on done okay now we have set a post date and the due date for this particular homework once done you just click on schedule now remember it was uh, before it was assigned right but since we have clicked uh, that we want to post it next week tuesday so now the assign change to schedule so we click on schedule okay you will notice this particular uh, homework over here this is the the latest homeworks are at the bottom right uh, so this is movers homework has been created now we'll create uh, this is the first method that we we went through how we can create quiz form of homework now next next is that where you want the student to submit their essay right 
If it's an essay kind of homework, then we click on create homework and then we click on assignment. Now, before we went through a quiz, now we're going to go through assignment. So we click on assignment. For assignment, you will notice we have straight away received, we have straight away went to this information. So let's say this is, so if it's, if it's the essay part, uh, so uh, what we need to do is actually for, for the students, I would suggest if there is an instructional essay or if there is a, some sort of uh, title to the essay, right? So the essay topic is my best friend, right? My best friend. So <clears throat> it depends if it's on uh, PDF or Word, then simply just attach it over here. You don't need to write all this. If it's an, uh, if you want to write it, then you can just simply write it. Save this particular information on one of the text files. So you can always uh, copy it and paste it. Uh, you don't need to type it all every time, right? So uh, you 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 will need to one you need to give one very um, important information over here is that. You want the students to to submit submit the essay in Microsoft Word, right? Uh, file uh, and submit to them uh, in the form. Uh, so you can f further say is that kindly. That's it. So uh, the remaining information. Uh, let's suppose this essay has hundred points, hundred marks, right? And uh, this is test assigned to the same classroom and to all students by default is by default is all student. And then uh, if it's if you want to post it now, then just simply go ahead and set the due date for this. And it's going to this particular button says assign. It will automatically post. It will immediately post it for, for the for the students. But if we want to add, we want to add a future date, then just simply click on this edit button and then uh, select enable the post. Uh, post section right so we will we want this one to be posted on Friday nine o'clock uh, and then uh, the due date is on Saturday uh, mid, uh, midnight right it's 23.59 and then say done so here you notice now it's it changed from assigned to schedule so that's correct and then uh, if rest of the information is okay you, you check one more time and then just simply schedule it uh, this is how we will create uh, create an assignment or assign an assignment or a homework or a quiz. Uh, it can be in any, you can name it any form actually to, to the students. So remember, just let me recap it what we have discussed this uh, in our session, this training session. We have discussed how to create an assignment. This assignment we will create when there is a, when there is a need to write an essay and that essay you need to mention specifically they have to submit it in Microsoft Word because Microsoft Word files the teachers can mark it easily if it's in other format then the teachers will not be able to highlight a line and uh, and uh, give, give their feedback and and so on so uh, if it's a long essay a short essay we will create an assignment in Microsoft Word form and if it's the objective kind of questions like uh, providing uh, fill in the fill in the blanks uh, multi, uh, multiple choice questions uh, or or let's say if there's a short answer very short answer for for the students they need to write they you can create this kind of quiz and the quiz we went through how to create a quiz uh, once you create a quiz quiz is always there so for the next time you don't need to create it for the next class all you need to do is simply click on quiz this particular form page will appear and then you just need to click on the form and then it will automatically import it and the next is just you need to set a due date and so on then assign it to the students is very uh, simple and straightforward so uh, this is overall training for today uh, I hope it's clear to you guys uh, how to assign uh, an homework or assignment or a quiz to the students